This is NBC Palm Springs. And welcome back. Good things don't always happen to good people, as you will find during the season closer at CV Rep. Now, here this morning are two of the actors in the show, Ramey Hall and Eric Odom. It's good to have you with us. Thank you for having us. So this is kind of a play where, you know, it, you try to do the right thing, but doing the right thing doesn't always work. Not always. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the nutshell version of what what Good People's about. Margie Walsh uh, is has just lost another job. She's a single mother. This is a funny show, by the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's about to get depressing, but it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's set in South Boston, and an old boyfriend of hers is now back in the city, and he's a doctor, and she goes looking for a job. And uh, some of the past gets revisited. So every time you think it's going this way, you're like, oh no, it's going over there. Yeah. So it's a roller coaster, but it's really fun. And are you both good people or are you Absolutely. good people think, doing bad things to other good people? I think it's everyone in the show is trying to do good. Yes. <laughs> and uh, what, do you, what do you do when the option's not really clear? Right. What, what do you do? You, you're trying to do the right thing and you don't really have a good choice. And, yeah. and you, you are limited with your choices, so you're making this choice and you think that's the right thing and it, it might be for you, but maybe not for that person. And there's a big sliding door element to the play too, where it's choices are made and you reach this fork in the road and then you see the consequences of that and what might have happened if you had gone another way. And yeah, so it, it, it sounds fascinating. It is. Yeah, and this is the show. last production for the season. Yes. yes. Until the summer they're going to be doing some other things things but for the full season and in your beautiful new home yes uh, the absolutely new, so new 200 feet uh, and we're the first non-musical in the space they did chess just before we came in the musical mm -hmm. yeah and now we're in there and yeah it's a gorgeous I mean gorgeous it is just space. absolutely gorgeous and so if, if people want to get tickets uh, how do they, they can do that? go to uh, cvrep.org mm -hmm. and the phone number for the box office and they can also buy online yes. on the website. So the two of you are not originally from uh, the desert? No, we're not. No. Okay. We're lucky we get to be guests for a couple of weeks while we're yeah. doing this show. Just to get, then you're leaving? Yes, we're going yeah. back to Los Angeles. Oh, But I decided I mean, I'm going to stay for a few days after. My girlfriend's coming out this weekend and we're going to stay in Palm Springs mm -hmm. for a few days after because we like it so much. How so. great. And so how often do you get here? Because I know you've done a lot of uh, productions. I have. This is my first show that I've done out here, but I am more than happy to come back. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it's wonderful. And, and what about for you, Eric? I've done a lot of theater in L.A., a little bit in London, and yeah, this is my first time out in the desert. Yeah. But uh, So yeah, you were a military great. brat, so how did you get involved in, in doing theater? Well, I was, I moved around every two years when I was growing up, then I went to Virginia Tech and lived in Virginia, and about halfway through becoming a physical therapist when I hate this, <laughs> I can't <laughs> oh, do it, really? and I went out for a school show at Virginia Tech and within five minutes of the first reading went, ah, oh, this is my life. Really? And how yeah. about for you? Uh, my mom actually was a ballet teacher, so I grew up in the dance studio and she was a choreographer for a children's theater company. And I was like, that's what I want to do. She's like, no, you don't. I'm like, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I started very young. I just, uh, I love being on the stage. Um, that's why it's been a wonderful opportunity to do this show. It's such a wonderfully written piece. It's really, really wonderful. Um, we only show. have seven shows left. Mm -hmm. We close on Sunday the 19th but our night shows are at 7 30 and we have a matinee also on Saturday at 2 and Sunday at 2 like so I know Full schedule huh? yes yeah, you do very good, good. Yes. well you better because you better show up that's right <laughs> I want people there yeah. <laughs> the audiences here have been really wonderful uh, you know they're so appreciative too Absolutely. and there's so much talent here mm -hmm. yeah oh, there really yes. is the culture you too uh, yes, <laughs> right. yes for a couple more weeks <laughs> that's right. true <laughs> All right, thanks for being here this <laughs> Thank morning. Thank you for I having appreciate us. It. All right, thanks. Get your tickets. You only have a week. We'll take a break and we'll be right back.